Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Kyle Kreider, and I'm a political science professor at Wilkes University. And for this year's Accepted Students Day, uh, had it been in person, I would have given a lecture uh, uh, entitled The Simpsons, The Three Stooges, and the Supreme Court. So I just want to spend a minute or two and talk to you about what I see the connections being between The Simpsons, The Three Stooges, and the Supreme Court. Before I do that, I just wanted to briefly introduce myself. I told you my name, I'm Dr. Kyle Kreider. And I'm a political science professor and I teach the law classes at Wilkes. So I teach criminal law, constitutional law, and I also teach uh, some of the political thinking classes as well. So introduction to political thinking and American political thought. So if you decide to come to Wilkes, we would be happy to have you. I really feel disappointed that I was not able to meet you uh, at the beginning of April at Accepted Students Day. But I wanted to give you a snapshot, a little picture of what uh, my classes might be like if you were to attend Wilkes University. So the, the Simpsons, the Three Stooges, and the Supreme Court, what's the connection? What percentage of Americans do you think would be able to identify the five central characters of the Simpsons? If you guessed close to 100%, you are correct. So around 90% of Americans can name Marge, Homer, Maggie, Lisa, and Bart. They can also name other individuals in The Simpsons as well. How about The Three Stooges? That's an older, you know, program, comedy program. But again, well over 50% of Americans can name Larry, Moe, Curly. And then there are also two other Three Stooges, Shemp and Joe, who made appearances at different times. So, you know, close to 75% of Americans can name at least one of the Three Stooges. Most Americans can name all three. What percentage of Americans do you think can name a Supreme Court justice? Not many, right? It's a very low percentage. Um, justice Brett Kavanaugh and Justice Clarence Thomas, they are the two most popular Supreme Court justices. People can either name or identify them if they see a picture, but it's, you know, low double digits. The reason why Americans can identify Clarence Thomas or Brett Kavanaugh is because of a controversial Supreme Court confirmation process, which is not why you should be remembered. Only 1% or 2% or maybe 3% of Americans can name or identify Stephen Breyer or Sonia Sotomayor or Elena Kagan or, or Justice Samuel Alito. So people ask the question, is this a problem? Is this a problem that Americans can name or identify pop culture figures, but cannot identify individuals, the nine individuals who might in fact be the nine most important or, or maybe even dangerous people in American government. They have more power, some argue, than even the president or members of Congress. If Samuel Alito or Stephen Breyer walked past you on a street, would you know that's who they are? Clearly over 90%, even 95% of Americans would have no idea if a Supreme Court justice walked past them. But I make the argument that at the end of the day, it's probably not a big deal that Americans don't know who these justices are. And here's why. The reason I think that most Americans do not know who these Supreme Court justices are is because the Supreme Court is a majoritarian institution. The Supreme Court does not ruffle feathers. The Supreme Court hands down decisions that for the most part are consistent with how Americans view particular issues, whether they be gay rights or abortion or the rights of corporations. So the Supreme Court is largely in line with where the American public is on those issues. If the Supreme Court handed down decisions that ran against, that ran counter to public opinion, that is when Americans would know who the Supreme Court justices are. And most likely that is when people would not follow Supreme Court justices. So I make the argument, I make this in my classes. Uh, if you were there at Accepted Students Day, you would have heard me make the argument that it's not a big deal in the large scheme of things that Americans do not know who the Supreme Court justices are. So that's it. The Simpsons, the Three Stooges, and the Supreme Court. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the fall. Be well and stay safe.